Welcome back my viewers and subscribers and big up to my new subscribers. If you are new here, please remember to like and subscribe. So this is an update regarding JD and Alicia Edward, a person of interest who they say was responsible for the guns that were found at war. So she has turned herself into the police and the police has questioned her and let her go. But consequently, two men were arrested and they are awaiting those men to bring in their lawyer so they can question them. For those of you who have not seen my video on this, I am going to link it above so you can watch it. So the shipment at wharf, 21 guns were found, 2,216 ammunitions were found in that barrel and the barrel was headed to Moko in Clarendon. And remember they said that Jadian has links in Clarendon so she probably has links in Moko. As I said in my previous video, she has bad friends, bad company, corrupt good manners. I can't forget that. So she has bad friends who has gotten her into trouble and maybe she has given up her accomplices and the police realize that she's a victim, she has been duped and they allowed her to go free. But I don't know much about Moko, so those who know a lot about Moko, please comment below and let us know what you know about Moko. All I know is that when I was growing up, if you're fool, people say I must Moko you come from. So maybe something is going on at Moko that we all should know about. So remember guys, comment down below what I should know about Moko, why it is now on the map with guns going there. And remember, like, like share and subscribe for more news and updates. Bye. Peace out.